guys, welcome. Full moon in Leo. We're facing the shadows, we're facing our fears. To start off, let's light a candle. We're also gonna light some sage. Next time I'm gonna have my feathers here, guys. Oh guys, I'm sending it to ya. Sending it to ya. Guys, we need this right now. We're gonna cleanse. You know what? Let me turn this down. I'm realizing Cleansing our spaces, our sacred spaces, is very important. And if that pattern is naturally built within you, lucky for you. And it has been built in within me. But guys, I was fighting it. I've been fighting it for a long time and attacking myself. And you know, I found it interesting as we've been discussing, you know, there's been some comments left at the channel here. And, you know, just chatting back and forth, sharing information, and Renonymous was talking about, and I love the name, by the way, thank you for explaining that, um, how, you know, the princesses and channelers are being attacked right now, and guys, I've been feeling this, I've been feeling some sort of way, I've been feeling like I've been attack being attacked at every single turn, but it's staying connected within with love, it's always finding our center back with love, back you know, when as soon as we hear that negative tune, we just begin creating that harmony again. And the harmony comes from love. We find that center. It's like, you know, my brother was talking to me and he is part of my spiritual quest. And he was talking to me about how... He, you know, was relating this story about to me, back to me about this person that had been through so much. They had been through so much, but they weren't afra afraid to face anything because of it. And he was so inspired by the story. And that's really what we're doing. We're, guys, we have to forgive a lot of what's happened to us in the past because it made us who we are today. And understanding we were put through all that so it's like you know you're put through so much pain you're put through so much pressure so when it's time when it's go time you know it's our time it's our time to shine we're in the field it's our time to play well why we're not going to just falter we're not we're going to always be creating with integrity of the light because when that pain comes and we feel it we're going to be like ooh ooh and we're going to know it's fuel for where we're going we use that pain as fuel for where we're going and we create with it. We create through it. That's the beautiful gift. You know, the songs, the arts, what we're doing here. It's creation. It's how we transmute it. I was getting ready this morning, having a hard time getting here, guys. And I don't think much editing is going to be done with the cards because I was having so such a hard time getting here. Very sick healing. Once again, my solar plexus, another level. And see, I don't even remember what I was talking about now. Just like that, lost. Time for a sip of tea. But I, I'm really recognizing the need to heal with our solar plexus. This is the messages we've been receiving. This is what I've been doing myself. This is where I'm at. And this is what part of the body we're working with we've gotten messages on the endocrine system right now crying system you know we were having a debate about how you said that the other day of course we could have gone online i mean you can google anything now endocrine guys back when i was young we had to wonder it was a mystery the great mysteries of life I've been receiving so many visions, guys, that I think we're going to be doing a separate episode just for my visions that I want to share. Because, so bear with me. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening. There's so much happening right now. Uh, 
we've we're being activated the masculine's been activated they're seeing what they need to see christ consciousness has been activated they showed it to me guys and we're collapsing time this vision of time now i only shared part of it but this vision of time was incredible and i was speaking about my head turning into a cuckoo clock so this vision came after a, a bath and i'm finding that that's the connection to the water having this bath and they showed me facing time and they said to face time to collapse it set your mind to it to collapse time when you set your mind to it to collapse time your mind turns into a cuckoo clock a cuckoo clock and when it's time it opens up and a bird flies out and so does a heart full of light and love and your brain's lit like seriously your brain's lit. and then this morning, I've been really, really trying to figure out how to expand this message. And I go and see that Renonymous, once again, has left a message. And saying that when we, you know, the, I don't, I don't want to mess this message up. I'm gonna just share it. Okay, it's gonna be, it's gonna be right there. But basically, it's to the point of, we're gonna face the past the future through the present moment and we're going to face time and we're going to collapse it and it's connected to eternity guys we're healing with time we're healing through time i've been told i'm a speed demon i've been told that and my solar plexus are crashing out on me because i am a speed demon i'm always trying to hack time that's why like i don't even know how that time to meet here with you guys sometimes i don't even know where i'm at some days guys I'm lost in other dimensions. I gotta come back here. Back on track, back on track, back on track as we are right now. So we're in a time of transformation with action. We know we're working with the masculine. The masculine has seen home. They wanna go home. They wanna go home. And there's still another reading connected to Aquarius for those of you that have been traveling back in time with us to see the messages of entering Aquarius season. There's one more and it's going to be aired shortly. So stay tuned. And it's connected to the energy that's been activated right now. The great rebel. Right guys? We've been through so much pain. Push our buttons. Push them. Push them. Okay. And they're showing me right now the rebels being activated through the masculine. Through the earth. And the masculine is seeing something. The masculine is seeing something they need to see with laser focus and precision. They're learning how to navigate the connection. They're missing the connection. This is the six of submersibles, the six of cups, the restoration to innocence, the connection. The masculine is longing for the feminine here and the connection. So they're coming home but this is all to surrender to divine timing and guys it this isn't this isn't codependency i'm gonna keep saying that because i'm gonna keep saying that because i'm called to say it this is not you've been you know you're still like oh yeah they're coming home if you've been expanding and expanding enough you might more than likely gonna be like oh what they're coming home i'm not ready i still have work to do I'm still working. Am I right? But of course you want to see him, right? Of course you want to see him. But you're not going to get lost in that. Because this journey is unique to all of us. And it's going to happen on our divine timings. And it has everything to do with much of what's about to happen. Some stuff's about to happen. Okay? And it's going to be positive. Not all of this fucking shit's negative, guys. Okay? So, we got to remember that. We're the positive charge. We're connecting to the energy of our ancients right now and we're, we're tracking something and we're going to share this message they've asked me to it's important and we're working with happiness but our happiness we're going to be challenged okay there's going to be a temptation we're going to be tempted with that cup the devil's offering it but we're not going to take it we have that sword 
we're still connected to Aquarius. So yes, the full moons in Leo, we're going to face our shadows. But we're still connected to Aquarius. Okay? And Aquarius is working with Aries. And there's a reason for that. We're about to share that in a second. Guys, it's about loyalty. Loyalty to life. Loyalty to the earth. Loyal to ha loyalty to happiness. Loyalty to everything we came here to build. Loyalty to expand. To create. To raise the vibration. Okay? We got, you know... We got to let some of this run through us. Create with it. You know, you're feeling some sort of way. You got to go cry. You got to let it out. You got to let it come from your being. Our body is connected to the mother. The mother has something to say. And we're treating our body in a whole new way. We've activated and pulled in all these patterns of new earth. And we're treating our body in a whole new way. Like, guys, I'm on a whole new level of detox. All my fingernails are off. I am on a, uh, working with my team on what is right for my body right now, my body current chemistry, and what I need to do. And I'm listening from within to without. Amped up the tea, guys. And I've gone down from having, like, you know, two, three cups of coffee a day to a three-quarter of a cup. Because I'm doing the best I can. And that's all this is about. It's just doing the best we can. Now... This is what we're working with right now, okay? We're working with the Prince of Swords because we're going to add the 13 spheres of knowledge, the feminine, and we're going to expand from the cocoon. But we're also, we've also come home to the elements. We came home to the elements. We came home to Mother Earth. We came home to our mothers because we healed with the mother. So that's going to allow us to heal from corruption because when we heal with a mother, we heal with a father. And when we heal with a father, we heal with a child. And really when we start healing with the mother, we start nurturing that child. But it's when, when we really start working with both parents. Guys, like this is it, okay? Because we're creating, we're creating love from fear. We need mom and dad. We need mom and dad on board. That's balance, okay? That's balance. The dolphin energy, the dolphin doesn't compromise their healing. Okay? They don't compromise their healing for love. Understand their love too. And they're going to heal together. We're going to heal together. We may be different. We may be unique. We're going to heal together. Okay? We're going to give and take and take and give. It's going to be equal. It's going to be of the two of cups. It's going to be of the flow. Where this is what we're working with right now. But we need this. This is the activation. The princess of wands. This is the princess of wands. And she's connected to this message and this message they're sharing with me. And she has the 13 spheres of knowledge. That's what's being activated right now for us. And we know we wanted confirmation. So when we got confirmation, we received the same card. Can't remember which reading, guys. It was one of these Aquarius readings, okay? I've been asked to share the Princess of Wands message, so we're going to do so. The Princess of Wands. The card of optimistic creativity. The princess is connected to her open heart. Her surroundings are a part of her and she is in energetic harmony with the pulse of the world. Her message is not to open your heart, rather to lead with it. Chakra message. Allow the focus from the third chakra to give way to an open heart. When you free your own heart, you immediately and energetically give others permission to do the same. Indication. Keep your heart engaged in all decisions now. Expand the love and stay positive. All right. The key words of this. Autonomy. Independence. Loyalty. Consistency. Rebellion. Fearlessness. Ooh, baby. I like it. Now, there's a meditation. Step into the energetic place of no judgment and breathe. That's a message from air. 
There is a natural uncertainty that, ha that occurs when we transition from one sending the message to the universe. Oh, let's say that again. There is a natural uncertainty that occurs when we transition from sending the message to the universe to opening your heart to receiving it. And guys, we're arriving. We're arriving and it's connected to Tracker. It's connected to Tracker. We're going to be uh we're going to be purging the rest of what's left over from the 5 and 6 of cups through the 8 of cups challenge as we know this is about the 2 of cups the quality we need this 2 of cups right now we really need this 2 of cups tracker focus your intent and your passion on one thing rather than being scattered in different directions be single minded in what's truly important in your life and let everything else go track the unseen but very real stream of energy to that which you desire. Guys, it's time. We're going to laser focus in. We're going to laser focus on in. Okay. We're going to heal from lower vibrational communications. Your native spirit wants you to know trackers have the ability to be so focused that everything but their goal disappears. What you see around you is the result of what you focus on. When you direct your thoughts towards good, you attract positive experiences and people into your life. But when you focus on what isn't working, you create even more challenging situations. So this is the message. They want us to laser focus on staying higher vibe, adding the positive charges, just like everything we're doing here. Okay, we're working with the elements. We're on our Merkaba. We have the scythe from the death card. We have the sword of clarity that has the positive and negative charge. We're about to burst through that cocoon. We just need those 13 spheres of knowledge. We have them. We have them. Okay? So, rather than being scattered in a myriad of directions, this deludes your strength. Devote your attention to your family, community, career, relationships, hobbies, or anything you're passionate about. Diminish activities that aren't essential to your goals and it will be just a matter of time before miracles begin to occur. Now guys, this is everything that the Queen of Wands is doing. She's following her passions. Or the Princess of Wands. Because the gift of this expansion we found out is going from the Princess to the Queen of Wands. Now, I want you to see, we this is how we are healing from the Devil energies because this is where lower vibrational we're hedonistic higher vibrational we're enthusiastic we need to get to be we need to get to this enthusiastic part so this is we're gonna cut 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 away cut 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 away okay guys they want us to go up they want us to go up and expand they're seeing it to us they've been seeing this to us it's time guys it's time it's time to go up to go home Write down how much time or oh, connection to time because this is the message of the journey. So write down how much time on average that you spend on different activities during the day. If there's anything non-essential that doesn't feed your soul, find ways to diminish it and focus on what's truly important. That's those are these are all of our channel messages. Now, I want to share the last two. This is pretty much, I guess, what's happening now after sharing all that. Love is leading us home. We have the Knight of Cups and the King of Swords. Love is leading us home, but it's through the masculine's truth right now. And I was called to have this deck here. I wanted to have this one, the Angel Tarot. In a couple of other readings that I was doing for Aquarius, but I knew that I was counting the cards and it was missing a card. I was in a rush. I didn't have time to see which one. I noticed that the card is in here. And I was going to look at it. 
But I was called to wait until now so we can see what it is together and I want to see what it is and I want to see what's on the back. Look at that gossip. You know what I thought it was, guys? I was like, oh, it's gonna be the lovers. Ooh, baby. Like, look where my mind was. Come back. All right. Well, hello. Back on track. Guys, we all need to get back on track sometimes, even me. Just because, you know, just because I sit here sometimes, like, doesn't mean I don't have my moments too, where I'm just like, you know, I'm ready for this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, but the work ain't done. Gotta keep going right now. Gotta keep going. Guys, we have to watch out. We have to watch out for lower vibrational energies of air right now and gossip pulling us down. We have to use the masculine right now to cut away from this. This is saying direct message. Masculine. Use the masculine to cut away. We know the masculine is able to just pull away from emotions. The masculine can put those emotions in a box. See, the feminine lives in this sphere where everything exists. Connection to the, like, you know, all, like creation. Like, this is a sphere. The masculine puts things in boxes. Well, I guess the feminine has spheres she's creating with while she's in one sphere. If you really want to get technical, we could really get technical. But that's really what we're doing. We have to be able to put that emotion in a box right now because it's not... We have to take what, like the knowledge from those emotions and weigh them out on the scales. We're weighing them out on the scales. And then we're going to move forth. And God, sometimes we've got to do the harder things. And that is cutting away what's lower vibrational. And we have to just say, like, I'm sorry, this doesn't serve me. It's not for my highest good. I'm going home in this lifetime. I got to go. So I'm going home in this lifetime. Oh, and look, it's connected to transformations from the Five of Cups. Okay. All right. Now, let's get our messages. Let's get our messages. Thanks for joining us for part one. There will be a link in the description down below for part two, guys. See you there.